Something dark is coming? That's not good. Han, z Boss, come stand right here. Stand here, stand here, stand here. Like two buddies. Wait, uh, why do I look like a dwarf? Just to clarify, this is not the scale. I'm much taller than this. Kiss the dwarf. Mwah. <laughs> he turned his head right when you kissed, really? <laughs> New video should be, I kissed a dwarf in hardcore. I made out with a dwarf. Hardcore uncensored. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, oh yeah, I turned it close. I forgot, I, I forgot I was playing a game. So, here we are boys, here it is. We are here in Duskwood. Okay, we started a little bit of the Duskwood quest. I have not started the Legend of Stalvin quest chain. Duskwood is one of my favorite areas to level in. You got the undead. I like all the undead stuff, right? I get to use exorcism and all that, but I, I like the whole aesthetic of Duskwood is just Raven Hill and the zombies and I love Duskwood. S tier zone. Legend of Stalvin quest chain today and we'll get ready to run some more dungeons soon. Who's Stalvin? You're gonna find out, okay? Weathered Grave, complete the quest. The story of Lorgan, Lo oh, the story of Morgan Lattimore. Darkshire is the home of, of some very memorable quest chains. Morgan Lattimore, the legend of Stalvin. We actually started the Morgan Lattimore quest okay. just now. This guy right here gives you this journal. We're gonna read it. Morgan Lattimore was a great and noble knight who fought in defense of the innocent, the poor, and the afflicted. For many years, he worked diligently throughout the outlying areas of Azeroth, bringing relief to the suffering and swift justice to evildoers. He was married to a young girl named Lys in the summer of his 18th year. They were much in love with each other and would eventually produce three children, a son and two daughters. Morgan was, a thir was 32 when war broke out in Lordaeron. Morgan was called to the side of the legendary paladin Uther the Lightbringer to fight against the orcs and the undead, leaving his wife and children in the safety of his home. Mor Morgan left for war. The years passed and the war dragged on and Morgan would witness many horrific events including the disbanding of the Paladins of the Silver Hand, the death of Uther, and the spread of the plague. The only thing that kept him from the brink of madness was the knowledge that he would someday be reunited with his wife and children. Morgan would eventually return to his homeland, but find it nothing like how he remembered it. The once verdant forest was corrupted and teemed with the undead and other dark forces, and the cemetery near Raven's Hill now dominated much of the area. A shocked and bewildered Morgan eventually made his way to his home, only to find it in ruins, not knowing what had befallen his homeland. He headed towards the village to find answers. Morgan inquired about his family, but could not find any answers. A priest in Darkshire, as it was, er, oh, a priest in Darkshire, as it was now called, said that he might search the cemetery at Raven Hill for a gravestone. Morgan refused to believe that his family was dead, and continued to search every farm and house in Duskwood, but to no avail. Morgan rode from Darkshire to nearby Lakeshire, thinking that perhaps his family had fled. On his way there, he decided, against his better judgment, to stop by the Raven Hill Cemetery. It's right here, where we were before. Morgan spent hours walking amongst the gravestones. He recognized many names of people that he knew and became more and more distraught. Then he saw them. A small, untended plot amongst the many with three small gravestones. A feeling of dread washed over him as he approached. Morgan brushed off the dust of the most prominent gravestone to reveal the name on it, simply carved upon the grave. The letter spelled out his worst fear. Lys Lattimore, beloved wife and mother. Morgan's apprehension turned to dismay, and then to grief, and he fell to his knees weeping. For hours he stared at that one grave, begging the cold stone for forgiveness and sobbing apologies. Then, hours later, Something in him snapped, and he began to lash out. He brought his sword out of its scabbard and began to rain blows on the gravestones, screaming in rage, blind in his fury. He lashed out and swung wildly, catching the notice of a trio of the cemetery's attendants. And as they tried to restrain him, he turned his focus to them, hurling accusations of guilt upon the innocent attendants, and then he killed them all. Later, when the rage had passed, Realization crept into Morgan's mind and he saw his bloody sword driven into the chests of one of the attendants. Driven to the brink by his emotions, he removed his belt knife and plunged it into his own heart. Morgan Lattimore's body and the three bodies of his victims were found the next day. He was quickly buried without ceremony in a hastily dug grave on the outskirts of the cemetery. Because Morgan committed murder against innocents, something that went completely against his beliefs and his nature. And because of the grief that he held in being unable to save his family, Morgan could not die a peaceful death. And he lived on as one of the restless dead. 
Only days later, his grave was disturbed and his body could not be found. The being that was Morgan now wanders Duskwood, consumed by his grief over the loss of his wife and children and his own self-hatred. Mor Ladim, as he now calls himself, roams Duskwood with mindless vengeance and hatred and has been known to commit murder indiscriminately. The story of Morgan Lattimore. Here we Hello. go. From what my scouts tell me, Mor Ladim wanders through Duskwood, following a strange and meandering path through the cemetery. We buried him out past the house on the hill. You know where that is? There isn't anything I can do to help you, but I wish you good luck. Kill Mor Ladim and then return his skull to Commander Althea Ebenlock in Darkshire. If this were written in retail, Morgan would have met a Volpera at the gravestone and they would have ended up becoming traveling performers. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. So that's the quest to kill Mor Ladim. And Last then there's night, also a horrible disturbance rippled through the legend game. of Stalvin. I sensed that my granddaughter Alyssa was in great danger. I consulted the cards and death stared up at me from the table. After taking a long journey through a dark trance, I was able to uncover a clue to this terrifying mystery. A name came to me, the name of Stalvin. Seek out the clerk in the town hall and see if you can find out more about this character. I fear for us all. Ah, so Madame Eva sent you. Madame Eva. That damn Eva. Stalvin, eh? Let me check the town registry. Stalvin, Stalvin. Let's see. Ah, here we go. I have a record of a Mr. Stalvin Mistmantle. The last recorded address is the Moonbrook Schoolhouse. My, talk about outdated. Do me a favor, will you, friend? If you happen to go out <laughs> to Moonbrook, let me know if you get any update on this fellow. I like to keep the records clean. Travel to Moonbrook Schoolhouse and bring back any update information about Stalvin. The Moonbrook Schoolhouse is... Oh, no, no, Moonbrook. Moonbrook is Westfall. Do you guys think I can kill more Ladim? Let's go to Moonbrook first, and I'll think about it. I think this is it. Old Foot Locker. The Old Foot Locker creaks open. An unsent letter. Oh, frick! Forlorn Spirit! To the Honorable Headmaster Krillin, my former master, I write to you so that you might know what your apprentice has been doing of late. I sought to build my knowledge and wisdom through travel outside the gates of our beloved Stormwind. My journeys took me to many places, but I have decided to take up residence here in the lovely town of Moonbrook. The surrounding fields of Westfall are the most beautiful. Within just a few days of my visit, I found myself tutoring the local children from the nearby farmlands. The lessons went so well that the town mayor commissioned me to run a school and construction has begun on a brand new schoolhouse. From Silverpine to Stormwind and now Moonbrook. Who would have guessed I would see so much of Azeroth? Warm regards, Stalvin Mismantle. Okay, we, we gotta take this note back. How interesting. So the chap did spend some time in Moonbrook after all. It is rather odd the letter never got delivered. Nonetheless, I shall update the registry. Nonetheless, I shall update the registry. Oh my. Must have missed this the first time. In the registry, right beneath the first address for Stalvin, there's another one listed, only partially scratched out. Looks like he was headed to the Lion's Pride Inn over in Goldshire. Mm. Might want to check there, adventurer. Go to the Lion, Lion's Pride Inn and see if anyone there has heard the name of Stalvin. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we have a bunch of quests to turn in Stormwind. So I have a, so I'll go to Stormwind and run there. What is this big hammer you have? Did Thor give you uh, Mjolnir? It's Mjolnir. Wait, so all the quests, all the quest text works now. The name Stalvan rings a bell. Stalvan. Remember now, many years back on a stormy night, a messenger came in seeking refuge for the night. Near the stroke of midnight, the man ran down the stairs screaming, his face pale with fear. Still wearing his bedclothes, he disappeared into the downpour. In his haste, he forgot his letters in the chest upstairs. He never returned for them. One remains from that Stalvan fellow, intended for the canal district in Stormwind. Help yourself to it. Wait, dude, that's so good. I thought it was just working on some random quest, but it works on everything. Finally, some peace and quiet. I ruined myself where no jackass can sneak in and go through my things. This was worth the 10 gold the innkeep charged. Sir Esband? Yes. What's up, lol? <laughs> Nothing. Don't mind me. I'm trying to take care of something without 
Awakening, anyone? Weird that I'm hearing voices in my sleep in my private room that I paid for. Yes, I'm working maintenance here. My bad, I'll let you <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> Storage chest. An undelivered letter. He got tired of dying, so he just RPs in the tavern now. I'm still leveling, I just also like to roleplay and do funny things, okay? What kind of roleplay? Normal, non-erotic roleplay, okay? Sorry, pervs. Okay, I'm telling you, I will not die. Will I kill him? I don't know, but I will not die. Raven Hill Cemetery. Okay, where's he at? You skipped him? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there he is. Oh, hell no. And there's no shot of killing this guy. <laughs> um, okay, okay, hold on. This is not looking good. Okay, I'm ready. Right, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, no. Nah. Would you expect? Well, I, I didn't expect him to not get, take any damage. All right, guys. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Here's the plan. Next stream, we kill more Ladim. I'll finish the Stalvin and the Morgan Lattimore quest chains. Stockades. As I do you recommend playing WoW in this day and age as a potential brand new player? Absolutely. Absolutely.